but you're liberating people right now to be faithful to who they actually are. And I am telling you, when I tell you that is a struggle for people, I'm in the people business. That's what I do. That it is a struggle for people. And I get it. There are people who are married and they feel like they cannot be their authentic self in the context of their own marriage. And, and what you're doing is giving people permission and courage by telling your story. I think it's so, so important. <laughs>
whether you knew it or not, there is a degree like of emotional intelligence or something there that says, hey, I'm OK with whatever kind of comes with pursuing this path. Like you mentioned, like, of course, you know, of course, your mom, she loves you. You're amazing, et cetera. But you, you mentioned you're aware, like, OK, yeah, this is probably a little bit. I was probably a little bit different than what she expected in a daughter, but you didn't feel the pressure, whether it was self-imposed or not, you didn't feel the pressure to, or if you did, you didn't conform to. So the, so I say this, this is the quick button reason why. I love God more than I hated disappointing my parents. Strong. That was it. It wasn't, we don't even have to like do, I just, I just, I loved him more. It's um, to have them crying over my decisions, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, these tears are temporary mm. because if if what God said for me to do is what He wants me to do, it's He's obligated to make it happen. Yeah. So yeah. when it happens, not if, but when it happens, they're gonna dry these tears up. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Well, then, mom and dad, I can't come home every weekend. Mm -hmm. I can't call you every, every day because I, what's going to be on the end is negativity. And I have that just, you know, spiraling what I know he told me. So there was, in order to be here, there was seven years of our relationship not great. And that's a risk that a lot of people aren't willing to take. But I was like, got to fix it on the back end. It's mm. cool. He'll mm. fix it on the back end. Now, were you when you were in the middle of it? Did was that something you felt really strongly about? That all right, this relationship is not is functioning suboptimally. It's it's not optimal. Did you, were you wondering is it going to be like this forever, or were you were you confident it's, it's going to be all right eventually? It was both. You know, and you kind of have to have a fair amount of both operating at the same time, right? A part of me was like. And, you know, and you, you talk about, whew, there's a, there's a thing in your book that you talked about when you said, I know, I know, I know more of you and I don't love you less. Mm -hmm. Right. And that really hit home for me because what I found, especially growing up as an immigrant, our love is very conditional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very, it's like, I was the good Nigerian girl following the good Nigerian girl thing. I straight A's. You name it, I did it. Dishes, I did it. You know, mm. don't go, don't go out to that party. I didn't go. Wait till you get married to have sex. I did all of the things. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the one thing that I wanted to do for myself caused me to be the black sheep. And I was like, hold up, <laughs> how how that work? Mm -hmm. I did everything else for you all, and the one thing I wanted to do for myself has caused me to be a martyr all right and I, and i think at that point i think the righteous indignation in me was just like well this doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. and i'm mm -hmm. the, i'm the kind of person that like likes to make sense of stuff i was like well this don't track and i understood now mind you i'm not callous i understood my mom and my dad's disposition the community's disposition um when you sacrifice so much and you're like this is our last black hope and what is she doing with her life mm. You get there, you get, you, it's kind of like when Lazarus died, you know, Mary and Martha, you want to that the one that you love is sick. <laughs> like, yeah. Come through yeah. quick. Facts. He's been yeah. dead for four days. Now you want to show up, fam, now come on. Like if you had been here, so you understand Mary and Martha, but at the same time, you understand Jesus. Like I did this. So the people standing about, not for my benefit, but for, for, for their benefit. And I feel as though God kind of did the same with me. Or I had to tap into that same thing with my folks. Like, I I can't call it. I don't know how this will end. I don't know how this will work out. But there's only one way to find out. And if I'm going to church saying, I'm not going to be a punk about it. I went to a church that was called Spirit of Faith Christian Center. Mm -hmm. And when I said I'm going to move to New mm -hmm. York, there were some church members that were like, well, you know, if it don't work out, if it don't work out, what's the name of this church? <laughs> spirit of faith or spirit of whack? What are we doing? <laughs> and so I, 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 
I've kind of had that angst in me. I've kind of been, you know, like I said, I got a little bark in me. Um, so I'm not afraid to do hard things. I've walked away from a lot of things, but I think what makes it easier to do the hard things is like, fam, I didn't ask for this life. God told me to do it. Mm-hmm. So one of us is wrong. Yeah, yeah. Incredible, incredible. And I, I am telling you, I know I keep saying this, and uh, but I say this not as just, a, not as a podcaster right now. I, I say this with an opinion that may not even be right, but it is informed by my experiences with so many people that I get the privilege of serving. And that is, you are liberating people right now to be not 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 to be a maverick or to be a contrarian just for contrarian sake, but you're liberating people right now to be faithful to who they actually are. And I am telling you, when I tell you that is a struggle for people, I'm in the people business. That's what I do. That it is a struggle for people. And I get it. There are people who are married and they feel like they cannot be their authentic self in the context of their own marriage. And and what you're doing is giving people permission and courage by telling your story. I think it's so, so important.